Hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey. I'm gonna record this last video, I think, for the evening. Um, because I just opened my book and I saw Season of Suddenly. I have this notebook right here. Um, y'all see it's busted, it's real busted. But I want to say about two years ago, um, I started to pray for my kingdom spouse. I started to pray for um the person in which God had destined for me to walk in alignment with, um, to do life with and live out purpose with. I did not know him. Um, had not met him or anything of that nature. I did not know who he was at all. And um, so I started to pray prayers, intentional prayers, um, prayers that included scripture. And I'll share a few of those. I'll share a few of them. Um, I started to pray for my, my, my kingdom spouse's mind. I started to pray for him to have a sound mind. I started to pray for his desire for the word of God. I started to pray for his fatherhood. Um, I started to pray for his vision that, that God give him vision, his integrity and his character. Um, different things like that. I started to add scriptural context to it. And then I began to fast, fast along with my prayers. Um, and something that the Lord impressed upon me to say when I looked that season of suddenly, because we're in a season where God is about to start doing, um, Amos 9, 13 is about to start flowing in the lives of people who have been set apart and chosen. Um, you know, yes, indeed, God's decree. It won't be long now. Things are going to happen so fast, fast your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of another. He's going to make it right. He's going to plant us in a ground, plant us um, in a promised land, in a land of milk and honey, right? Um, and then that season of suddenly, um, what I was going to say is, you know, the enemy may try to cause stagnation and delay, but ultimately that is all he can do. That, that the purpose and the plan of God will prevail despite any type of opposition, any type of delay. Um, and the Holy Spirit led me to say that the prayers that we prayed years ago um, are going to begin to work in this season they're going to begin to work and especially this month of march and in the year of 2024 um this is the year of the crown okay 24 karat gold this is the year of the crown um the past couple years have been years of restoration god wants to cause laughter to come upon the land again and uh, a way to know that the land has been restored is through marriage is through laughter is through reconciliation um so yeah i just wanted to share that that reconciliation is coming um prodigal those of us who have been prodigals are returning whether that be to our purpose whether that be to a re um, divine relationship whether that be to the land of promise god is restoring and reconciling us into right standing with him as we lay aside the weight and sin that does so easily beset us as we begin to focus on him god really is calling us to a place right now he has been emphasizing to me that we need to um ante up on prayer um we need to go a little bit harder i mean you know for me i had gotten to a place where the oppression i mean the the witchcraft attacks had become so aggressive that i was becoming exhausted so even in my prayers i was praying but i was not roaring i was not roaring um and god is cause calling us back to a place where we are heightening our voice amplifying our voice and beginning to roar again beginning to uh, amplify our tone and be more aggressive you know the scripture that says the violent take it by force he's getting us back to a place of violent for violent aggression in our prayers and in seeking his face and, and, and seeking his word, seeking you first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all these things being added unto us, I would behoove and oblige anyone to start in Proverbs. Proverbs is a book of correction. It's a book of realignment. Um, that's all I have. I love you guys so very much. God loves you better, best, and the absolute most. There's nothing you can do about it, even if you try. Thank you guys so much. Like comment subscribe that's something this is all new to me so i'm gonna start saying all the lingo um and yeah just keep me in your prayers and um pray that god will bless everything that not just i am doing but the works of our hands that everything that he's put in our hearts to do the babies that he's put in our wombs that nothing will snatch will eat will take away that baby um that god has placed on the inside of us i love y'all